yeah, and we are live. Um, hello, everyone. Here's Daniel with another episode of our Ecom show. And today I'm here with Ruth from uh, Reconvert and uh, from the beautiful Israel. And mm -hmm. uh, today we will have a few interesting topics because uh, they have this uh, tool, this uh, platform Reconvert, which helps e-commerce business owners to increase their conversions. And here at Budai Media, we also, since last year, we try to help more and more e-commerce businesses with their uh, AOV and conversion rates. We think that it's a really underrated topic in the um, industry. And I also know that, that uh, they are coming up with a new tool soon. So today we will discuss all of these uh, areas. Uh, hey, Ruth, how are you today? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, everything is, is great here. Um, before we jump into the you know technical things and nitty gritty, so tell us more about the story of Reconvert. What's the story behind it, and uh, what other businesses uh, did you try before, and what was the reason why you started this uh, this platform to build up? Sure. So um, we started Reconvert and the company in general in uh, 2018, towards the end of 2018. Mm -hmm. um, we actually started it, me and my brother Eric together as like a small family business that grew to be more than we honestly expected it to be. Um, both of us were merchants before that. We both had Shopify stores. Uh, Eric had a Shopify Plus store and I had a smaller one that was just starting out, but already making some money. We already had some customers. And basically, we both had a bunch of ideas for Shopify apps. We were thinking about, okay, there's so many um, problems that don't have solutions yet that we would like to create an app for. And none, neither of us is a developer, so we really didn't know how to go about doing that and in the end we just decided to um, hire developers uh, and start creating the app and basically we launched at we launched at the end of 2018 uh, we got picked up by the shopify staff picks pretty quickly and were uh, featured there in the first week and that really gave us the first boost to grow the app but the rest is history we just continuously tried to build the best product that we could to give merchants what they need. And we always use our experience as merchants and other friends that are still merchants to figure out what to build next and what would be the best way to do it. Yeah, so basically you started in 2018, right? As a mm -hmm. company. Yeah. And uh, it's almost three years or maybe a bit more. I don't know when you started exactly. So what what were what were the main milestones for you uh, during the development of the tool and and you know during the time you helped merchants so um when it comes to the main milestones for us we kind of see development as something uh, that we try to make as lean as possible so we basically launched we started developing and then launched the app within i think about three months so that was the first major milestone launching the app and from day one we got installs we got interest we got customers that was very very significant um and you know there's the regular milestones of uh we got our first thousand customers our first ten thousand our first 30 like all of these are important yeah. milestones. um and yeah but just whatever uh feedback we get from customers whenever we get a customer that's really happy with us that's an important milestone for us yeah 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 um so let's talk about the tool itself how does it work mm -hmm. how does it help uh, e-commerce businesses what's the yeah. main goal of free convert so reconvert um the main goal is to help with um customer retention and average order value uh, that's really our main focus with free convert and the way we do it is with a post purchase optimization we started off just optimizing the post purchase page the thank you page um, 
this is the page that every customer sees when they complete a purchase. And I don't know, a lot of people don't know that, but in Shopify, this is also the same page as the order status page. So this is the page they get with um, transactional emails to track their order, etc. Mm -hmm. So by average, people actually return to this page more than once. So I completed a purchase and I might return to it two or three times again after that. Um, and this is the only customer retention tool that has 100% open rate. Every customer sees it. A customer can't skip it unless they yeah. like close it the moment they got in. Um, and the thing with Shopify is by default, you can't edit it. It's not editable through the, um, the theme editor in Shopify, it's locked. And what we did is we basically created a lookalike for the Shopify theme editor that allows you to drag and drop different elements to the page. It has video, it has a post-purchase survey, upsells, product recommendations, a pop-up, whatever you need to convert the customer again. Yeah. Does it work with the Shopify Plus and the regular Shopify account as well? Yeah, it works for everyone. And uh, I'm just curious, you, you mentioned that people come back to the thank you page multiple times. So how does it happen? Uh, I imagine that they just watch it or, you know, they, they look at it once and they just leave forever. But looks like then many of them, they come back. Uh, they just, re you know, they just hit the back button or or how? So the, the thank you page itself as a thank you page, they see once and usually leave. But uh, in Shopify, this is also the order status page. So Shopify takes the thank you page, gives uh -huh. it a bit of a different URL, and it's the same page that they send customers whenever you send out uh, transactional emails or SMS messages, um, inviting the customer to, uh, to watch their order status. This is the link the customer gets. So unless you change that completely and are sending the customer to another place, they actually come back to this page more than once whenever they get a transactional email and they want to see the status. Okay, okay, yeah. I understand now. Um, and what are the main features that we can use? So I know there is a survey tool, people can embed the video. That's yeah. probably my favorite, by the way, because yeah. you can really personalize the experience. It's really good with brands. And what are the options that you can add uh, on the thank you page, especially because um, you know, there are other tools where uh, you can also customize this page, but I think uh, those are far from reconvert in terms of uh, features. You have much more features for the thank you page than other companies. Yeah, uh, we do have a lot of features and the main reason is because we we saw a lot of apps doing some things on the thank you page and then we decided to be the one app that focuses only on the thank you page. So we basically did everything for it. Um, so you can do a lot of things. We usually like to divide it into uh, three categories. So the first mm -hmm. one would be showing information to the customer, communicating with them. So you could do a, a text, a text with image, um, and you can do a video. Like you said, we actually had a really interesting case study uh, not too long ago with uh, a store that is using, that is planning to use um, the reconvert triggers to show a different mm -hmm. video according to the number of orders you've made in the store. So uh, if you created your first order, you will see a video. If you created your second, you will see a different video and so on. Um, so these are elements that allow you to talk to the customer. Another type of element, the second category is um, receiving information from the customer. So it could be uh, the post purchase survey, which you also mentioned. We have a product comments widget that you can leave a comment of why I bought this product. Uh, we have a birthday collector. You can collect customers' birthdays and sync it to Clavio, to SMS bump to different uh, platforms. And the third um, type, which is the most popular one, is mm -hmm. upsell, it's any kind of converting widget. So um, we have a pop-up with timer where you can give a discount that is time limited to the customer. We have a product upsell widget. We have a product recommendations widget, a call to action, just a general discount. There's a lot of options here. Yeah, that's amazing. Um... Yeah, I think I, I agree that the pop-up is really popular. I, I can see it with the merchants, but uh, 
that's not the end of the story. So if you want to build a real brand, you should use the videos. Uh, many times the personal message from the founder is, is you know, it really establishes the, the relationship uh, and also the survey and getting their birthday. You can uh, collect a lot of data about them. And uh, we also, with Clavio as an email marketing agency, we also send out uh, birthday flows uh, with the and actually we have a client or used to have a client where uh, we collected not their birth date but their uh, the birth date of their children because uh, they sold uh, baby products and uh, we asked for the birth date or the expected birth date uh, and one year later we can uh, give them some nice surprise uh, there are many opportunities with that it, it yeah. birthday really works because it's something personal for people so they tend to open those emails um yeah uh, can you mention maybe a few case studies or or how reconvert could help these brands you already mentioned one i know on your website there are a few other case studies so what were the main uh, results and and changes what they could make yeah so we're actually working a lot on uh, creating new case studies now. So if anyone uh, is using Reconvert and listening to this and want to share the results, feel free to reach out. We would love that. Um, but I don't want to get into any specific store data. You can see some, some specific stuff on our website if you want to go and check it out. Um, but we have, first of all, we have brands of all sizes. We have like someone who just opened a store and doesn't really know what they're doing yet and still figuring out, uh, it out. And we have Shopify Plus brands with, you know, millions yeah. of dollars uh, monthly. Um, and I would say the results, they vary depending on the size of your store, obviously. But we've seen for, generally speaking, for smaller brands, the ROI would be somewhere between 200% and more uh and then for medium brands it would be like a four thousand percent roi which is incredible it's very impressive yeah. Um, 40x yeah yeah and then the honestly the most uh impressive number i've seen so far is uh a shopify plus store with like ninety thousand um percent roi so that was, uh, I, I was kind of shocked by it. I was like, oh, we should charge more. But um, they you can get um, really good ROI. And this is our goal, honestly. We never want a store using us to be losing money on paying us if they're not making money back. Um, and when it comes to, to the revenue you're making out of the thank you page, again, it depends so much on your audience and your products, et cetera. But we've seen stores taking the thank you page, which, which is basically a 0% conversion rate. So I think we can agree on that. No one is buying from the thank you page. Yeah. And you can take it. I've seen stores getting 10 and even 15% conversion rate from the thank you page. I would say the average would be somewhere between 2 to 5%. But it depends how well you optimize it, um, the type of products you're uh, upselling, how much your customers trust you and love you. Um, if you do it right, you can you can really increase your revenue uh, and just get free money into your hands from yeah. optimizing the thank you page. Yeah, that's that's really true. It's uh, underutilized, and I think mm -hmm. especially after especially after after the first purchase, uh, people should really monetize on that uh, because also from an email marketing perspective uh the, the new customer flow it's one of the best flows email flows for us uh, many people they just send an order notification and that's it but uh if you send them uh, emails every day and you have this optimized thank you page so and you can retarget them as well with ads so if you do all of these then uh you can uh, get the second purchase quite fast or even mm -hmm. if they don't buy then um uh, you know you you really um give a you give a really good customer experience for them after the first purchase um so i just mentioned email and uh, yeah. 
common question so people should use email or reconvert or uh maybe sms or messenger which yeah. which one is the best so it's funny it is a common question we're getting it a lot um and the answer is in my opinion they should use everything um i think everyone should already know that customer retention is one of the most important thing things for any brand that wants to succeed in the long term. Um, so there's no reason to limit yourself. Use the thank you page and then use emails and SMS and uh, push and whatever platform you need to use to get customers back. Um, the reason I personally love the thank you page is like I said in the beginning, it has a 100% open rate. That's the only channel that does. I don't think it replaces the other channels. It's a, an addition to that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I totally agree. And uh, I think it's especially great these tools. Uh, Messenger with Ricard as well. We use Ricard for the uh, SMS bump, uh, reconvert and, and email as well, because, uh, you know, you the pricing is, is really good because it depends on the extra revenue that you make. Yeah. Um, while with Facebook ads, you have to spend that money every day to make money and you have to spend it upfront. While here, uh, it's based on the extra revenue that you make. Um, just today, we had a call with, um, with a potential client and he asked us about attribution windows and uh, comparing the attribution of Klaviyo to Google Analytics to Facebook and all of that. And I'm not a big fan of this mindset because it's a bit, uh, you know, the people try to compete the different channels. Like I should use email, I should use SMS, I should use reconvert. And nowadays people use a lot of devices, a lot of browsers, they, they are everywhere. The buying decision, it's very rarely like I saw an email, I saw an ad and I instantly buy. It's very rare nowadays. Yeah. It's more about seeing you everywhere in the ads, mm -hmm. reconvert on the thank you page, in the email, you get an SMS and then you buy. So I'm, I'm really against this debate that, uh, you know, the attribution windows and, and where this sale came from, from which channel, because reality is very different uh, than that. Yeah, I agree. I think it's also, it's more and more about branding yourself and the experience you're giving your customers it's more about when my customer is looking for a product that i sell i want them to think about me and not google the general uh, name i want them to google the brand yeah. name brand name and then you don't have any you it, it's kind of difficult to attribute it to a specific channel he might have thought of you because he saw you on instagram he might have thought of you because he really enjoyed the product last time he purchased you don't really know yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, a lot of sales is made with reconvert, but uh, probably we can agree that nobody comes into the store by reconvert, right? Because first they need to purchase yeah. to get to the thank you page, but still you make a lot of money for the merchant. So it's just a good example that uh, it's not the right mindset to think about where this guy came in and buy because we have so many channels and they integrate together all of these. Yeah. Um, so I also know that you are working on another uh, tool. Uh, can you tell us, you know, a few tidbits about it? I'd what, love to. Yeah. So. We're actually working on a lot of really interesting things. Um, one of them is uh, in reconvert, we're working on adding some more locations for post-purchase upsells, for one-click upsells. Hopefully it will be released very soon. Um, and then in addition to that, we are working on a complementary app, uh, which mm -hmm. would do pre-purchase upsells. So reconvert focuses on after the sale, uh, the moment checkout ended, that this is when reconvert gets into the picture. Uh, and then the other app, the new one that we're launching very soon, uh, is going to focus all about the moment you land on the website until you reach purchase. And then until you reach checkout, basically. And then the idea is to combine the two apps for the full funnel. Um, 
the the other one the, the new app would basically allow you to show different upsells in the same way that reconvert does but this one only focuses on upselling cross-selling not not on any kind of page optimization um during the purchase flow while well, whatever it is on the product page on the cart page on the checkout page in the future um and the idea is to do it in a smart way that mm -hmm. optimizes the offers for the customers on the one hand to increase conversion rate uh, but also that doesn't um take the customer out of the purchase flow which is the main fear when we talk about pre-purchase optimiz uh, pre-purchase upselling we don't want to upsell in a way that takes the the customer and annoys him or makes him just leave the cart and abandon the cart we don't want to do that so this is something to look forward to we're working on it really hard and it's going to be an amazing product if i do say yeah. so myself. <laughs> yeah. yeah thank you uh maybe i guess this is another common question to you right that uh all of these pop-ups and upsells, cross-sell offers, they ruin the user experience and the website conversion rate. What's your opinion on that? We also get this a lot, by the way, for email pop-ups. Yeah, okay. So that's interesting because I think it has the potential of winning the experience, uh, but it also has the potential of doing the opposite because yeah. let's take email for example and not what we do with uh, with our apps if you show um uh, if you don't show an email pop-up there's still a high chance that the customer leaves that the visitor leaves before uh, completing a purchase but he leaves and you don't have any way to contact him again but if you do show a pop-up and he signed up to get a discount and then he left you have a way to contact him and maybe recover yeah. his abandonment so I think the, I mean, you don't want to show up a pop-up every second and every time he gets to a new page because that's too much. But if we look at um, the loss versus gain from these pop-ups, I think the gain is higher if you use them correctly. Um, and when it comes to, to what we're going to do with uh, the new app, the pre-purchase app, um, it's going to be very much in the control of the merchant how many pop-ups he wants to show we do add some limitations to make sure that we don't hurt the conversion rate to make sure that we don't show too many pop-ups because too many too much is just not good in this case um but yeah. we show enough to get the customer engaged and to purchase more yeah um uh, i already mentioned that today we had a call with a potential client and this was one of his other questions that uh, these pop-ups they will ruin the user experience or or how about that and uh, it, with our team we ran some a b tests on this last year what we could see if you check in google analytics the average time mm -hmm. what people spend on the website and if the pop-up uh, comes up comes up uh, at that time or or later it doesn't decrease the conversion rate of the website at all. Uh, not on mobile, not on desktop. If the pop-up appears below the average time spent on the website after five seconds, 10 seconds, maybe even yeah. 20, 30 seconds, then it it can ruin the experience. So th this was the result of the A-B test. Um, so yeah and and if the conversion rate doesn't decrease it will obviously make money for you both the upsell uh upsell uh, pop-ups both the email pop-ups so yeah they are just a no-brainer yeah. to be honest uh, i i think this is great input for like whatever type of pop-up you want to show that just knowing what the minimum time is to not spam customers is a great input and um we actually, this is another, I think, way to do it if you're afraid that it would hurt your conversion rate is only to do it on exit intent. And then the mm -hmm. customer yeah. was about to leave. Uh, we do it also in uh, in uh, the new app in pre-convert. We have exit intent pop-ups, which is basically, there's nothing to lose. He was about to leave. I mean, there's no... Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Exit intent is, is huge as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, Okay, so today we talked about you know many things, uh, reconvert and the and the new app as well, how it, it can be used. Uh, also, we it's not a secret we are a partner with uh, reconvert, and uh, 
We are planning to use it with more of our uh, CRO clients. Uh, I think it's really a no brainer to add it uh, to their website to optimize their uh, conversion. Um, yeah, is there anything you want to add uh, to this conversation? Especially nowadays, there are so many changes with the, the iOS update and, and a lot of yeah. things. COVID is still here in many countries. So, yeah, is there anything that you would still add? Um, I think uh, now, especially with there are so many uh, changes, technological changes and fashions as far as uh, e-commerce goes, uh, it goes so rapidly and changes are so fast that I think you really need someone who understand this world enough to you know do it for you to make sure that your your website and your store is up to par with all of the new changes so i think in this case this is where agencies really come into play because you can have someone you can trust to optimize each step of the funnel um, and recommend whatever apps or services you should or shouldn't use um, but basically i think the most important thing is to constantly innovate to constantly learn what's going on in the world and how can i fit into it and make yeah. something new mm -hmm. yeah i totally agree and uh, agencies and software companies can help everyone every merchant a lot definitely with these, uh, with these things uh thank you ruth for uh joining us today and thanks uh, everyone who listened to us today um every week we come out with a new episode we try to invite uh you know, interesting and 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 uh, interesting companies and having insightful conversations. Um, and uh, if anyone works with us, then uh, regarding CRO, then there is a high chance that you will see reconvert at some point. Um, so thanks everyone and uh, stay tuned. Yeah, I, um, we actually got two comments here. If you want me to to answer. Oh, them. really? Okay. Yeah, I can see them now. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, if you want, yeah, if you want, I can re just read them. They came from LinkedIn, from Casey. So the first one is, uh, do you currently have any setup experts? Uh, yeah. Um, if we're talking about reconvert setup, um, first of all, we have some pre-made thank you page templates specifically. So you don't need an expert. So you can just with a few simple clicks, activate the app and, you know, see if it works, if, if it, you need to optimize it, optimize it after you see results. Um, but if you are looking for an expert that can help you, I think Daniel is a great example. Yeah, um, we are here. Yeah, we have a few agencies that we work with, but I think uh, just uh, choose someone that you trust. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree. It's, it's not super difficult. So this platform is uh, simple to use, which is great. However, if anyone needs help, we are here. Uh, we can jump on a call or, or, you know, we can discuss how to set this up. And the other comment was, uh, can you tell us a uh, company name? If you search reconvert in the Shopify app store, it comes up with so many results. Um, um, yeah. So uh, reconvert, if you look for reconvert in the app store, um, it's the first one, uh, reconvert. Um, it's the one with the blue, uh, the blue cart. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how to explain it, but the name of the company is still your apps. I think reconvert is just easier to remember. That's why I'm saying it's the first yeah. one if you search for reconvert. Yeah. Yeah, I will uh, contact Casey on LinkedIn so we can uh, take this uh, forward, this conversation. Awesome. Thanks for the comments. Thanks for the answers, Ruth. And yeah, so thanks again for this talk today and stay uh, tuned, everyone. Uh, have a thanks. great day, everyone. Thanks for having me. Have a good day.